In the recent times, I have had the privilege to experience serene and captivating days in the Czech Republic a small yet impressive and unique country. From the ancient cobblestone streets to modern structures, from deep forests to gentle rivers, the Czech Republic truly stands as a masterpiece of nature and humanity. Upon stepping into Prague the beautiful capital of the Czech Republic, I couldn't help but be drawn into the harmonious blend of classical architecture and the vibrancy of urban life. The stone-paved alleys, colorful houses, along with historic landmarks like the Prague Castle and Charles Bridge, they all resemble paintings blending colors and life. Every step on those ancient streets feels like a journey back in time, where time seems to have paused to preserve moments of beauty. However, the Czech Republic extends beyond Prague, more vast and diverse. I ventured into tranquil countryside regions, where green fields and quaint villages create a vivid canvas of rural life. Here, I sensed the sincerity and simplicity in the ways of the local people. They are diligent farmers, living harmoniously with nature and cherishing simple yet precious values. The Czech Republic also boasts unique cultural and historical legacies. The ancient castles, traditional wooden houses, and historic shrines, they all serve as wonderful examples of human patience and skill. Through each sculpted statue and mural, I could feel the love and pride that Czech people hold for their culture and history. The diversity in landscapes and cultures has made the Czech Republic an appealing destination not only for history and culture enthusiasts, but also for souls seeking tranquility and modernity. I genuinely believe that the harmonious interplay of the past and present in the Czech Republic has painted a remarkable picture a masterpiece of nature and humanity that no famous writer could perfectly encapsulate. In the midst of the Czech Republic's enchanting beauty lies its villages, where time seems to stand still. These villages, tucked away in the embrace of rolling hills and lush forests, hold the secrets of generations past. The rustic charm of the wooden cottages, adorned with flower boxes and trailing vines, evokes a sense of nostalgia that transcends eras. As I ventured further into the countryside, the landscapes unfolded like chapters in a timeless novel. The undulating fields, adorned with wildflowers, seem to whisper tales of the seasons as they change their attires. The babbling brooks and tranquil ponds reflect the serene nature of the Czech people, who have learned to live in harmony with the land. The Czech Republic's legacy is not only in its landscapes but also in its art and architecture. The Gothic spires that reach for the heavens, the intricate frescoes that adorn ancient cathedrals, and the ornate details of Renaissance palaces all bear witness to the country's rich history and artistic spirit. To walk through the halls of these architectural marvels is to walk through the corridors of time, where each stone holds a story waiting to be whispered to the attentive visitor. The heart of the Czech Republic beats not only in its physical beauty but also in the warmth of its people. As I engaged in conversations with locals, I was struck by their genuine hospitality and their passion for preserving their traditions. The hearty Czech cuisine, with its flavors that seem to be cultivated from the very land, offers a glimpse into the soul of the nation. In conclusion, the Czech Republic is an opus, a masterpiece composed by nature, architecture, culture, and the spirit of its people. Its chapters are written in cobblestone streets, painted in castle walls, and sung in the rustling leaves of its forests. To capture the essence of this remarkable land is a task that even the most celebrated writers would find daunting, for the Czech Republic is a symphony that can only be truly understood by experiencing its harmonious melodies firsthand. Amidst the grandeur of history and architecture, the Czech Republic is a canvas that bears the strokes of resilience and progress. The scars of the past, evident in the remnants of World War II and the echoes of the Velvet Revolution, tell stories of a nation that has emerged from darkness into a new dawn of democracy and unity. The Czech people, like characters in a gripping novel, have displayed remarkable strength in the face of adversity. Their determination to rebuild, to reshape their destiny, is a testament to the human spirit's indomitable nature. The transformation of the nation's identity, from a turbulent past to a promising present, is a plotline that stirs the heart and reminds us of the power of unity and courage. But beyond the pages of history and the chapters of progress lies the soul of the Czech Republic, a soul that resonates with art, music, and intellectual pursuit. The works of Kafka and Havel, both sons of this land, have etched their philosophical musings and social commentaries into the global literary landscape. 
The haunting melodies of Dvorak and Smetana, often inspired by the Bohemian countryside, evoke emotions that transcend language. As I bid adieu to this enchanting nation, I am reminded of the words of the great Czech writer Milan Kundera, the Czech Republic is not a state. It is a state of mind. Indeed, the Czech Republic embodies a state of mind where history intertwines with modernity, where nature merges with human creation, and where the spirit of a people defies any singular description. In the end, my encounter with the Czech Republic has been akin to reading an exquisitely written novel, where each page turned uncovers a new layer of beauty, depth, and inspiration. To capture the essence of this country is to attempt to capture the intangible, to describe the indescribable. It is a task that only the most profound literary minds could hope to approach, yet the Czech Republic, with all its splendor and complexity, stands as a literary masterpiece that invites all to immerse themselves in its narrative.